Hey everyone. I have just recently moved to a common area of the house, so anything can really happen. Anybody can come down this hallway here. Anybody can come upstairs over here. I've got Griffin. Um, I don't know if you can see him just kind of laying on the couch there um, in view of a window where anyone can walk by and um, he could go nutty. Uh, so I don't have a safe space anymore for um, recording. So this will be fun and exciting. Um, this Sunday, you're going to hear talk about the Reformation and a focus on the Old Testament scripture. And our little lesson with uh, this guy over here is going to focus on that as well. And the transition of Pastor Ron leaving us and someone new coming. And we'll talk about that a little bit. But for today, I want to talk about the New Testament scripture. And because it's, it's kind of one of my favorites. And so before we get started, let's say a little prayer together. But um, I don't know if you watched the uh, children's message, or not the children's message, but the passing of the peace during children's Sabbath. We talked about peace with you. So I'd like to start doing that so we can get in the habit of that for when we come back to church and we can't maybe hold hands in the circle for a while or hug one another, we can still say peace with you and pass the peace. So I'm sharing that peace with you today. So let's pray. During these weeks together, God, we praise you and we study your word because we want to be faithful followers of your word and of Jesus. Loving God, thank you for our group and our church and may your spirit show us the way. Amen. So I want you to think about what do your parents or other adults do to show that they love you? I'll give you a minute to think about that. Um, they, of course they say they love you, they give you hugs and kisses, and, but think about those things that they do that like they wouldn't do for someone that they didn't love as much as they love you. Um, like all the times you, when you were little, you'd wake up in the night and all the glasses of water that you wanted and all the extra hugs that you wanted and um, taking care of you and all of those things that they do because they love you so much and you probably don't think about them very much because they're just these little things but they wouldn't do them for anyone that they did not love as much as they love you. So think about those things, those, those little things. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit of a story here. This is from Matthew 22, 34 through 46. So if you have your Bible and you take it and you kind of open it at the halfway point, and then you take that back half and you break it open again halfway, you should be at about Matthew or the Gospels. Um, that'll be the start of your New Testament. Basically, the first half and a quarter, three quarters, is your Old Testament, and that little quarter in the back is your new. And we're in the Jesus stories. So in the last story, we heard about Jesus and the Pharisees, who were the experts in Jewish law. And they tried to trick Jesus with a question. And actually, we didn't talk about this because we had children's Sabbath last week, so ignore that part. But they um, tried to trick him with a question about paying taxes to Caesar. And Jesus was not falling for it. And Jesus never falls for it. So that's our long story short that we missed last week. Well, they weren't the only ones that wanted to trick Jesus. They want to catch him in lies. Like he's out here preaching this, but what will he do if we say this? But he never gets caught up in it. So they wanted the Jesus to say something that would get him into trouble. And another group of Jew Jewish leaders went to Jesus that same day. And they asked him a question. And his answer kind of left them pretty speechless. Now, when the Pharisees heard about this, they met again and came up with another plan to trick Jesus. This time they asked Jesus, teacher, what is the most important, the greatest commandment of God? Often Jesus answered questions with another question, but not this time. Many times Jesus answered questions with a story. Parables, remember? Those gold boxes we have in Godly Play, those stories Jesus told to kind of share his point, he didn't do that this time. Jesus said the most important commandment is, in confirmation class, if anybody just happens to be watching this, you know what it is, it's love. Love the Lord with all your heart, your soul, and your mind. But he didn't even stop there. He continued by saying the second most important commandment it goes right along with it, side by side. Love others as much as you love yourself. Every other commandment and law from God follows these two. 
So when you think about the Ten Commandments, and someday I will teach you the Ten Commandment finger things, and um, all of those are commandments, but we have to remember the most important thing is loving God and loving others. It's love that over everything, and it should lead the way for everything else. So now that gave the Pharisees and everyone else something to think about, and who could really argue with that answer? I mean, it's perfect. So the Bible doesn't tell us, um, but I wonder what we think the Pharisees said about Jesus' answer. They don't tell us, but I wonder how they took the answer. Hmm, something to think about. And where do you think Jesus learned about the laws and ways of God? I wonder what you think. Well, to love ourselves and love our neighbor as ourselves, one way we can do that is taking care of one another. So I wonder if there is something in your neighborhood that you think you could do for your neighbors to show that you care about them. I wonder if you could think about that this week and maybe even try it out. Um, I don't know that would kind of follow that second greatest commandment. I don't know, if you happen to do it, let me know. So just to think about how you might help people in your neighborhood, and it doesn't need to be the person next door to you, just in your community, people that you care about, those who need help, how, how can you care for them? If you have ideas or if you've actually tried an idea, that'd be really cool to find out. So be sure to let me know. All right. So as we leave here today, I want you to think about all of that and how we can love God and love others and just let everything else be led by that love. I think we can do that. Let's give it a shot. All right. So as you leave today, I'm going to share some peace with you. So have a little closing prayer. So we're going to do it again. Peace with you. I hope you have a wonderful week.